I am going to make these legs go vroom. And hopefully this will be real quick. But starting out with your leggy legs, you probably already have a model. If not, and you just want to figure out how to make an armature, you go here and you hit A and then you hit S. Or you can just drag your sweet time over. Now we have our armature. Go to orthographic mode, select this boy, drag it up for your hips. Remember, if it goes hiding, you put in front in this object. Properties. In object properties, you can turn it on in front so you can see what you're doing. Now, I don't really need anything too fancy. That's fine. This is fine. I'm gonna shift D and duplicate and start moving it around. And you can see these are offset from each other and they're not parented at all, but you know, shift click to keep offset. Now, this will belong to you. Extrude, extrude. Kind of. Go into this forward place. Put them where they belong. You also need something to control all of the feet. Now that we have our bones, we need to keep in mind that we want something to control the bones. So what we need now are some bones that are connected, but not connected. Extruding along, keeping them lined up with the Y value. I'm going to Alt P and dis clear the parent rule from these because these are going to be controllers. Make sure to name everything. I'm a fucking idiot. Now that we have some controllers, we need one more in order to control where we point our knee. This one does not need to be connected, so I can also clear parent for this. Move it forward. See, these are all disconnected, but they need to stay here. Knee, knee, knee. Now, in this tab, also turn off deformation for all the controllers. Now we need to go to pose mode. Pose mode. And start adding our constraints to the lower leg and shin area. This is technically the foot if you want to get really technical, but I don't, I don't know. I, I, I call this foot and this foot. I'm just gonna call it whatever for now. Inverse kinematics. Oh no, this line is going all the way up to the hip. That is a no-no. Let's change the chain length to two for now. 
Might change that later. We need to select the armature. The bone we're looking for that we want to be in control is this one that's at the bottom. It's the foot IK left. So now, if I grab this... Oh no, look at that! It's being a cool thing! Nothing else has control of it yet. But we're almost there. We need to also do it for this upper leg. At least this is the way that I found works. We want armature. We want the heel IK, because this is the heel. So now this one, if it moves, we look at that. We got it to move around. And it's dragging the hips a little bit. That's because, again, this chain length needs to be changed to two. So now we have this, and it moves quite nicely. But you see that little foot? It's going up, up, and away. What are you doing? That's not right. In this case, we need to add a pull target for this upper IK. Again, we're going to select the armature, and we're going to go pull target for the knee. So now, you see, it does a little because it's stupid. We need to tell it what to do. Let's rotate back into place. Usually 90 degrees works, but if your character's leg isn't up and down, you can easily kind of go into front view. You can see that slightly turns. At this point, you just gotta eyeball it because there's n nothing in here that matches the kind of constraint rotation that we need. The rotation value that we need in the constraint. So at this point, this is where I'm just gonna go... Almost there. It, it's it's about right. Oh, it's just like a smidgen off a hair, a single hair. That's too much hair, too long. Okay, we're gonna have to live with it. Uh, um, what was I doing? Oh yes. Now this should be in control of which way this points, but uh. you. Now, you can tell when this, you know, when we move our thing around, it drags up and down. That's, that's okay. I, I still love you. We need you to be moved by this one. What we need is to add an additional constraint. Rotation, ideally. Copy rotation of this back heel. And, you know, now that we have that, we can just, we, we need to select the armature and the IK for the foot. And it does a sweet flip, and we say no. <laughs> Choosing. Ooh, it's working! Usually it doesn't work the first time. But, you know, sometimes these values, depending on how you created it, it might be a little weird, but uh, look, it kind of looks like it works. You can see that when you tap into edit mode versus pose mode that it rotates slightly. That means it's copying the rotation value slightly odd. You can try these other ones, but that might just kind of goof it up and you start getting inverted. Usually offset legacy in the legacy version works. So now when you do this it should move that. But now there's one more issue and you can see it's still pointing up when we move the leg because it's copying the rotation from where this one's rotating. So in order to turn that off we need to go to our bone, we have to go to relations and turn off inherit rotation. So now, we it's it's got its own own mind, own own laws. It it only listens to one person. Now, let's copy it. Now everything should have a name, and every name has its place, and that way. Let's double check. Yeah, this has a bone to pick with us. One additional thing we could do is if we wanted, we could parent 
either of these to each other that way. We can control where this goes, at what point it extends, and that should be good. Now let's symmetrize this. It should copy everything over if you ha have all the constraints on it. As long as it's named properly, you can symmetrize. And if we tab back out, there we go. Look at it, it worked. <laughs> <It's something. laughs> it actually worked. And now I'm just gonna do a quick parent. Let's just do automatic weights and whoops, nope. Let's just do some automatic weights real quick. Okay, now you can tell there's something kind of crazy going on with my uh <laughs> this is where you have to like Oh I guess this isn't right. Hold on. After original? Before original. Offset. It is doing a sweet 360. Local space to local space. Again, to check. Cool. It's doing the thing that I didn't want it to do. It's doing. It's doing. It's going up and down fine, but the back and forth is wrong. This should be able to be fixed if I remember. Actually, we can look at the local. Since now we're using the local and accesses, so, 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 so. is this one? No, you want viewport axes. See which way the x value is the one that's rotating backwards. So perhaps if we invert it. No, I need to grab this now. It's it's still going wrong. Let's see if there's if I just now we. So it's still choosing this to be world space, but we want the local space. And just to double check that it's still wrong. This is right. This is right. Okay, now it's all right. I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing just to. Oh, oh wait, world's well, supposed to be one. Hey, but hey, 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 look at that! We got some leggies doing the leggy. What we could also do is we can. Now let's turn off these axes.
Let's do this again, this time without screwing up. I'm gonna start from scratch. Get some likes! to be Ian Hubert. Shift A, single bone. What you could also do is Shift A, A, S, and the keyboard, because that's quicker. I'm going to edit mode, grab my little buddy here. This will be our hips. Oh no, he disappeared. Wait, I'm literally being... No! You know when somebody's too influential on you. We want to go and make sure this guy shows up in front. Okay, he's in front. Uh... Now, you know, duplicating this, making the sweet little mess that is my bones. I'll fix that, I promise. First of all, let's parent this guy with offset, because we don't want too many bones. You know, the ball socket of the hip is somewhere in this lower area, and the knee joint, and the ankle, and the, this will be somewhere. It doesn't matter. Maybe it does matter. Something like that. It's okay. Now, these two look, these two need to be extruded. I'm going to make sure they go off. Because what these are going to be used for is our controls. And I need to clear the parent because they're going to be the daddy. Got the foot. How stupid. How did I? Don't forget your foot. The foot's important. Make sure the foot's attached to the right one. Okay, there we go. And one last thing is we need a pull target for our IK that we're making. And this also has to be cleared of parentage. This one doesn't need to be connected. These two need to because they're in con they're going to be in control of these pivoting points on the bone. As for this knee, that's just going to be what it's targeting. Now we need to go through and name everything. Start with the foot. Foot. Don't forget the L's. I always do that on the first one. I always forget the L. We got all of our leggy bones. Now we got all our leggy bones named. Pose mode. What all are we gonna do? Well, I know these two are both going to have an IK constraint. Look at that. Look at that. Now they're bright orange. What does that mean? Um, nothing's there. Red plus yellow equals orange. Why do I say that? Because, uh, this will turn yellow once you, this turn stops being red. Now, 
this one we want the bottom heel IK in control of it, so I'm gonna find the foot IK. My bad. I'm getting them mixed up. I call this one heel, this one foot, and this one heel. Same thing with this one. We want to target the armature, and the bone I want is the heel IK. So now, if I grab these, you can see that they're moving around. And they're kind of all over the place, but that's okay. Because what I actually can do, if I really want this one to really be in control, I can shift click and I can parent these to each other but with an offset. So now it looks like this when I move it around. And that doesn't look like it's supposed to do that, but that's okay. It's kind of only... Maybe I don't do that. I can now target the pole for the knee. And you can see that it does a sweet turn and we're like, no, please don't. In this case, it needs to be rotated along the positive until it gets back into place. You might need to tab back and forth into edit mode to reline it up correctly. I don't really know how to not make this happen. This is just my workaround. Eyeballing. I overshot. Ah. It's not gonna be exact, but you know. We're gonna get as close as possible. That's good enough. Alright. So long as everything's in its place, we now have something to control the rotation of our knee. Now, we want more control over the foot's positioning. So we're gonna add a copy rotation to the armature, and the bone that we're selecting is the IK foot. And it'll flop backwards, and we're like, e don't do that! So we're gonna choose legacy and what might happen is you'll see once I uh once I once I skin this to the the bones uh there will be some issues that could pop up and it has to do with uh this isn't actually 100% exact what what happened is this is possible for this bone to have flipped upside down so in the rigging process or i mean in the skinning process it'll do something but we mostly have all of our constraints that i want um what we can also do is turn off the deformations for these controllers so that when it goes when we go to skin it it uh doesn't have influence over the those spots on the mesh and also turning off the inheritance rotation under the relation tab for this foot that way only it only gets controlled by the IK foot now go back into edit mode for this and now I'm going to select all and I'm hoping our naming convention works here and symmetrize no, not subdivide, idiot! Now, there's this little yellow line that I did forget to adjust. That's the uh, chain length. We can adjust that so it only goes up to the top leg. Hey, you can see it's slightly adjusted. Ah! Let's go back in time a little bit. One thing I forgot chain length needs to be set to like two for this top one and for this bottom one it could also be set to two or one whichever gives you this control over your the control that you like over your leg that gives me a nice yeah I like that now it might have rotated the leg a bit here so that's where you have to go back to the pull target one and see which way it went. There we go. Oh, 
might just need to go straight up 90. Is that good? Yeah, that's exactly what it needed. Usually it only needs to be turned 90 degrees. Sometimes if you have some slight weird like angles and rotation on your stuff, it doesn't it doesn't like it. <laughs> now we can go back into edit mode, select all and symmetrize. Where is symmetrize? Hit Y. Yay! Oh, it should have copied all the constraints over, so now you have all these fun guys. And also if you want. I think I might try this out as an offset so that these guys move together. Nah, maybe not. Testing it out. Now we can go back to object mode, do that, select automatic weights. Now this was the thing I was talking about with the feet going wonky. We need to go back into pose mode and what will end up helping is changing from world space to local space. And I'll flip it and local space for this one too. So now now it's going backwards. You just turn that some wonky way. And it should just be the local space is interacting with the... Yeah, that should work. Same thing for this one. Just needs to be flipped along. The Z works, the Y, and the X, and the Z. Yeah. And now we have some leggies. 